Welcome back. It's your host, Mr. Gray. I just want to thank you for tuning in today. Um, today, we're going to jump right into it. It's the end of the year, and um, I was hoping to squeeze in a couple videos. This may be my last. This may not be my last video of the year. I look forward to 2021 with many more videos, hopefully some early releases. If the, if the, if the sneaker gods are kind to me, please. Anyway, um, today we are here to talk about a shoe that... Um, it's low key fire. I mean, it's, it's like low low key fire because it's it has a very basic look, but it's the it's the possibilities of it that I think are amazing. Either way, let's just backtrack a little bit because I'm jumping ahead of myself. Um, earlier in the year, the documentary um, "The Last Dance," uh, basically on for, on Michael Jordan and his playing days at the Chicago Bulls, came out, and um, of course, it came out to a lot of fanfare. People loved it, but one thing people noticed were a pair of shoes that we had never seen before. Um, of course, after careful research, you know, several blogs, we found out they were the Jordan Center Court. And when they say center, they didn't spell it C-E-N-T-E-R, it's C-E-N-T-R-E, -E, the Jordan Center Court. Anyway, the, they was the first time anybody had seen them and they were on Michael's feet. So we conveniently saw the sneakers he was wearing. I don't think we saw the shoes he was wearing the whole, what is it, 10 episodes, but he made sure he threw those in there. He knew what he was doing. Either way, they we we initially thought they were going to be just friends and family, but of course they ended up they ended up being an actual release on the sneakers app. So they released on December 21st with at a retail of $135. So we were fortunately get I was of course fortunate to get my hands on them and let's jump right on in. So first, first 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 we got the box. Uh, yep, actually the box that you, my Jordan ones, my Jordan ones come in. Um, colors. So let's just make a real make me let, let me make a real quick comment about the colors. Every time I see when Nike puts up marketing photos of their sneakers, especially a lot of their sneakers that have white in them, they give it that dramatic light. So it always makes some whites look like they're a little off-white and I'm always kind of hoping for that and I was also hoping for that with this shoe but as I read the colors white white and white I mean it literally says I don't know if you can see that but it's white white and white so it is what it is either way I'm happy I got the shoe um, and without further ado the shoe you have the Jordan one, the, not the Jordan one, my bad. The Jordan Center Court. Now you can see it's already tied up instead of the nice little tie they gave it to you. I actually wore it out today. Um, I just, I've been out on, been out on the street, riding down the road, had to go a couple places. And I, and, and they're comfortable, they're really comfortable. So what, let me tell you one reason why they're comfortable. They actually have the Zoom Air cushioning on the inside, as you can see on the sole right there. Um, so that's one thing they have that lets you know that it's, it's got a little bit of comfort in it. Um, they do they do sit low. Um, you see that beautiful, beautiful tumbled leather um, across the sides, both sides, and going into the spine of the shoe. You have that quilted. You have the quilted um, wings right there. But then the only hints of a different color outside of white you have are on the heel and on on the tongue which they're a um a light suede a light suede um gray grayish brown more actually gray so you can see that right there the detail on that and then here's the tongue it's a real premium suede which i mean most pre most ways they drop are typically a good have a nice little premium on them um you can see that tumbled leather all over the shoe it's just beautiful just just marvel at it just marvel at it i, I know this isn't everybody's cup of tea but it's definitely mine. Um, what I like most about this shoe, I would say is the quilted wings on the side. Th those are my favorite parts. Um, one part I've noticed is as of all the pictures I've seen online, all the pictures I've seen online, there's two, there's things I have, there's two pictures I haven't seen a picture of that are, that are on this shoe, two actual details that I will actually consider somewhat important. So right on the inside of the tongue, let's see if I can get you guys a good view of that. You have a fingerprint, which is kind of like Jordan's imprint on this shoe. I didn't see a single photo online that showed that. Maybe you guys have, but I did not. 
on the tongue of the other shoe, you have, come on, you have Michael Jordan's signature right there. So I, I guess I'm just finding it interesting that, that none of the photos actually show show that online. So um, that's one interesting thing. So those are the only hidden details that you know that that I didn't see photos for. But there's one thing I there. And, but I also there was one difference between the shoe we got and the shoe Jordan had, and it's and it's such a small thing. The photo that they put of him wearing the Jordan Center Court, he actually has. Um, metal lace tips silver metal lace tips and if you look really 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 close you can also see that they have that little the the jump man the jump man on that mate that metal lace tip we did not get that um which hey jordan no we can live with that it's all good we, i guess we can't get everything that your that that, that your airness gets but we we hope to sometimes um so moving along um outside of that there um, are also three other versions of this coming out. Um, those versions will have, and how am I gonna explain this? Remember the Jordan 1 band? <laughs> the, the, not the one we really love, but the one that had the stripe across it? Well, the, basically, the three new versions that are gonna come across are gonna have kind of a, a rectangular, a long rectangular stripe that goes around, that starts about here and goes around to the other side. And one's gonna have that, have that in a yellow stripe, One's going to have that in a red stripe, and one's going to have that in a blue stripe. For the record, I don't like either three of those. What I do like more is the possibility of what they can do with this shoe. So the three versions of colors that I just told you are slated to come out sometime in 2021. There hasn't been a, an exact date given yet. But let's talk about what Jordan should really come out with. Imagine, because they've already done this with the S, they've already done this with the Dunk and several other shoes. Um, shoot, they've done it with the Dunk, they've done it with the Jordan 11. How about we give it a, how about we give it a bread colorway? Can you imagine this with a bread colorway or a royal colorway or a Chicago colorway? This sneaker would be fire. Um, so right now, you guys, I'm sure a lot of people, you guys have overlooked this shoe. You really don't care about it, but I swear. I'll tell you now, if they put this out in a Chicago or a bread or a bread slash band or a royal colorway, this, I mean, the sneaker got snatched up regardless, but I think the sneaker would uh, open up to a much hyped, uh, much more fan fanfare if it, it were to get those type of colorways. So, Jumpman, I'm talking directly to you. This is me talking to you. Do it. Make it happen. I'm trying to tell you, it will set the streets on fire. Either way, that's all I have. Lastly, once again, we have the Jordan Center Court. Um, 135 retail, but right now, since it's already it already sold out on the 21st, it's available on the aftermarket. It's not too much higher than retail. I think it's been selling for about 170, which isn't too far off from the current price. So if you still want it at a good price, Hey, you can snatch it now. This is the first iteration of it. So as others come out and if they start to get flyer, just remember, this will be the first. And, you know, your Ernest wore it on the documentary. So, I mean, I think in the future it will become important. But of course, uh, you know, that's just that's neither here nor there. That's my opinion. Either way, guys, I just want to thank you for tuning in, tuning in. I just want to ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. And I just want to thank you for watching once again. Mr. Gray out.